I've always had like an infatuation with music, but in a way that was like very distant from me. I grew up doing musical theater, so kind of different from playing music. Um, and then when I was about 14, um, I grabbed our old like 12 string tailor we had in our closet at home and started playing, you know, the, the basic chords and started playing on a worship team at my church and playing with musicians who were all way better than me. And that was like, I think very awesome from the beginning to just know that like the bar was here and I was nowhere near it and it felt great and horrible at the same time. How much of my songwriting is based on actual events? I would say probably 90% is based on actual events. Maybe 50% is events that I like that I actually experienced. Um, but I love writing stories for like based off of what other people have told me. I love hearing stories from friends and writing based off of that. I draw some of the best inspiration from that because it's not. I get to kind of make up a little bit of where this person was in a setting. It's colder, you sneak over to my place You steal a glance and then we dance the night away Constellations is actually one of the first songs I ever wrote um, and it's the first time I realized how much I love writing for other people. So I had uh, a friend who sat down and like divulged this whole story to me um, about how she was in love with someone that she like wasn't allowed to be in love with, so how she was sneaking around and how it was causing her so much like anxiety because she didn't want anyone to find out, but she knew exactly like that this person was who she was supposed to be with. And it was like a really cool moment for me to be able to share this song with her. And you know, there were tears, it was amazing and beautiful. And, <laughs> and that's kind of when I really realized that I like love writing about other people's stories. I think the sooner you realize that no one knows what the heck they're doing in the best way, um, the easier it becomes. I have a, a songwriter friend named Joel Ansett, and he, um, he says you should write from a place of approval rather than for approval. And that really to me was like, like writing songs from a place of okay, I know what I have to say, so I'm gonna say it, rather than what do people wanna hear? I'm learning the coolest part about being a songwriter is one story doesn't mean one thing for, for everyone. I'm Abigail Rose, and this is Women Up Front. So in the 